Hello, I'm Palak. In this video, I'm going to talk about binomial hip. Binomial hip is an advanced data structure which is generally part of post-graduation curriculum. Binomial hip is a forest data structure. Just like regular binary hip, the binomial hip can be either mean hip or max hip. But in this video, for operations, we will consider mean binomial hip only. First of all, why do we need binomial hip when we already have a binary hip? A quick reminder, binary hip is one we use for hip shorting. So, the answer is, strong point of binary hip is that it gives mean value within constant amount of time. But, if we want to merge two binary hips, then it takes order of n amount of time. To overcome this drawback of binary hip, binomial hip was introduced. A binomial hip is made of series of binomial trees, each which have a unique order. The order of binomial tree defines how many elements it can contain. Tree of order n can contain 2 raised to n elements. Another important property of binomial tree is that we can get tree of order n by merging two trees of order n minus 1. Thus, a tree of degree 0 is just one node. A tree of degree 1 is just two nodes, that is, two trees of degree 0. A tree of degree 2 is four nodes, that is, two trees of degree 1. Structure of binomial hip As stated above, a binomial hip is just a list of binomial trees. Now, the question is, how many binomial trees a binomial hip can have? An interesting property of binary structure is that it resembles to the binary number system. For example, let's consider a binomial hip with 30 elements. 30 is 4 times 1 and 0. So, it will have binary trees of order 1, 2, 3 and 4. There won't be any tree of degree 0 as least significant bit of 30 is 0. In this video, we will see 6 operations on binomial hip. First is union or merging. Second is insertion. Third is deletion. Fourth is decrease key. Fifth is find minimum. And sixth is extract minimum. First of all, Let's see union operation. According to me, this is the most, most, most important operation of the binomial hip. Once you'll master this operation, you'll easily get other operations. And after all, to perform union in less time, binomial hip was generated. So, no escape from you. You have to by heart the steps. If both hips have a tree of degree n, then we merge them and carry over the resulting tree of degree n plus 1. Carrying this process through, when we combine two trees of same degree, then among two roots, the one with minimum value will become root and combined tree. And the other tree will become child of minimum root node. Since each merge is constant and heaps of n items have at most log n binary digits. We are performing log n constant time tree merges for our heap merge. Next operation is insertion. Insertion operation in binomial heap is same as merging operation. You have to just assume that the key or node you want to insert is the tree of order 0. In this example, let's say we want to insert a node with value 1 to this given binomial hip. So, let's just connect these two nodes. But in a single bin binomial hip, we can't have two trees with the same order. As we can see here, 1 and 7 both are order 0. So, we will combine them. One is the minimum value among 1 and 7. So 1 will become root 
and the seven will become child of it. So now we have two trees with the same degree of one. So now we have to combine both of them two. Here among one and three, one is the minimum, so one will become root and the another tree will become child of it. This is how insertion operation is carried out in binomial heap. The next operation is deletion operation. Whenever we want to delete a node, we assign the least value to it, that is minus infinity. As we will assign minus infinity to a node, if it is not a root node, then it will be smaller than its parent node. Hence, ultimately, that node will be bubbled up as root node. The tree is then detached from the rest of the heap and the node is removed. The fragment of old tree are re reversed and linked together to form a new heap. Here, let's say we want to remove this node with the value 12. So we will assign minus infinity value to that node. Now minus infinity is smaller than 3. So they will swipe. Now minus infinity is now, uh, much smaller than 2. So they will swipe 2. Now remove, my, uh, remove that minus infinity node. So we will uh, get detached from our original binomial hip. Now after removing minus infinity node, we will have scattered trees. Those scattered trees will combine and make a tree, a binomial hip, and the other parts of our old binomial hip will combine and make a other binomial hip. These two binomial hips can combine using union operation. Our next operation is decrease key. In decrease key operation, we replace a node value with lower value. Hence, the node will bubble up through its ancestors until the tree meets the conditions of a hip. Here, uh, we are taking this node 20 and we will replace this 20 with the value 7. Now, 7 is smaller than 60. They will swipe. Now, 7 is smaller than 9 too. So, both will swipe again. But 7 is larger than 3. So now this state of hip is satisfying minimum hip property. So procedure will stop here. This operation is known as decrease key operation. The next operation is find minimum operation. To find minimum, we just have to travel through root nodes for all the trees. Now for this example, we will start from the first tree and we will see its root node and compare with its adjacent root node from 18 and 3 through is minimum and from 3 and 6 3 is minimum so here we get our minimum value 3 only as our trees are following minimal minimum hip property we don't have to travel the whole tree but we have to traverse through root nodes only. For the worst case scenario, we have uh, we can find our least member for in the last tree. In this scenario, our time complex complexity will be log n. Here's here's our last operation: extract minimum. Extract minimum operation is basically to find and delete the minimum value from this binomial hip. In this, we first find minimum node, then it is removed. The tree fragments are then reversed from the another hip. In this example, 1 is the minimum key value, so it will get detached from the binomial hip. Now, the rest of uh, part of this binomial hip will get combined with each other and form a binomial hip. But this 10 will remain alone and that will act as a natural binomial tree. These two hips can further be combined using the union operation. Now 
let's compare time complexity of various operations for binary hip and binomial hip. To make hip, both hips takes constant amount of time. For insertion operation, tree, binary tree takes log n amount of time and binomial hip also takes log n amount of time. But binary hip finds minimum node in constant amount of time whereas binomial hip takes log n time. Major reason is binomial Major reason, reason is binary hip follows minimum hip property, so root will always have minimum value. But binomial hip is set of binary hips, so we have to compare roots of all trees and we can have a max log n numbers of trees in a binomial hip. Hence, to find minimum binomial hip takes log n amount of time. There is no time complexity difference for delete minimum operation decrease key operation and deletion operation for union operation binary takes order of n times but binomial hip takes log n time this is the major advantage of binomial hip over binary hip hope all your concepts regarding binomial hips are clear now thank you